morning, friends, and welcome back to regular vlogs. I am so excited to be back home and regular vlogs commencing. Back into my routine, my hair is better. <laughs> My, I just feel so much better. I feel like I'm not living out of a suitcase. Don't get me wrong, love traveling, love vacationing, love every single minute of that. But just like everybody else, you like to be home, in your own bed, with your own pillows. You guys know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But hey, welcome back, friends. Today um, was, is the day that I have to, Brian has to take his vehicle in to get um, all of the work done from when all of that stuff flew out of the back of somebody's vehicle and, you know, put all that damage and dents and stuff on his car. Um, so we are going there now to drop off his vehicle. And then we have to go pick up a rental car for him. So he'll have a rental car. They said for about seven days. It should take about seven days for this to be done. But um, yeah, we've heard that story before. And it's taken a lot longer. But thankfully, um, insurance is covering everything. And they're um, covering the cost of the rental car so that'll be good for him hopefully we won't have it longer than seven days um if it turns into having a little bit longer then i guess i'm taking that one to disney because we leave two weeks from today we are leaving for disney and it is um the girls trip it is with me my sister um and my nieces hannah and courtney oh coming coming what's coming soon there i'm gonna have to see that when i get back Ooh, so exciting uh but anyway so yeah today um today also on our way back uh, after we pick up the rental car we are going to Lowe's because Brian needs weed eater line and I think we are going to start picking up some flowers to plant in our pots. Um, I was really hoping that my patio was going to be almost complete by the time we got home but unfortunately it's not they're still working on the fireplace and then after the fireplace is going to be the patio part where they're extending out the patio and then obviously putting up the um, brick stuff on the pillars so oh my gosh june 25th is my party <laughs> so i'm like come on guys so and i don't have like this weekend i can't work in the yard except for Sunday if we decide to work out there um, but this weekend we're having the garage sale at my mom's house so Friday and Saturday I will be busy there we're finally 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 going to be able to have the garage sale which is going to be nice um, I'm going to be with my mom all day Friday doing all that Courtney's going to be with me for a little bit as well Friday helping out then on Saturday my sister will be there helping out as well um, I don't think the girls are going to be there because they have a wedding to go to so um yeah but i'm just happy to get this stuff out of the way and whatever ooh, mom's ready and whatever does not sell we are going to give to the goodwill because that's usually what i do anyway um so i would just rather give it the rest away and that's what we plan on doing so hopefully a lot of it sells um and that the, the, the stuff that does not, somebody is going to have it at Goodwill and someone will be able to get it. So anyway, and then we're going to go home and uh, yeah, hopefully maybe work on the yard later on this evening and do some stuff there. I want to I want to sweep off, at least sweep off the patio where they've been working because they've kind of made a huge mess. Um, and I'm sure they're going to be there today too, so I won't be able to do any of that sweeping until they're gone. So um, hopefully they'll complete more work today. And I know the guy that did the pavilion still has to come out and do some work as well. So like I said, we're in crunch time here because I won't have much time to do, I would have put my furniture together out there, but I don't want to put it together just yet because I don't want it to get all yuck and dusty full of all of their um, equipment dust that they're, you know, making a mess with. So 
Alrighty, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. I have to go over this mountain and there's a lot of traffic right now. So, um, because everybody's going to work, but yeah. Alrighty, so we are now at Enterprise Rent-A-Car and Brian is picking up his rental and it looks like it's going to be this little black um, Ford Edge. That's what it looks like. Wherever they're at, at, wherever they're at. Sorry, I don't understand. I don't know why my watch does that. It drives me crazy. But anyway, and then um, I have to go get gas. And then I'm going to get Starbucks. And then I think we're going to go to Lowe's because he said he needs to go to Lowe's. So we're going to go do that. And then um, we were talking about getting Rosie's. So I might get Rosie's then after Lowe's because we'll have plenty of time. Because that by, th by that time it'll be open. So um, that is probably what I'm going to go do. So... I mean, because Rosie's opens to get lunch at 1030. And I know it's so early for most people, but we won't like eat it yet. We'll wait and get home. But anyway, nonetheless, that's the plan for right now. Brian's going to get his little SUV and we're going to go. Alrighty. So I thought I would go ahead and kind of give you guys a little bit of an update on what is going on out here with the pavilion build and the fireplace build. So they pretty much got the pavilion done. There's just a few things that he has to come back and do, but he'll probably do that um, once all the other stuff is done. But this is the fireplace so far, and they're doing some yard stuff over there, putting in grass and sod at the new place. But anyway, so this is the fireplace. And I wish they were done because um, I'm waiting for this to get all done because then I can put all this together. Um, but this is what we're waiting on. And he's doing a pretty good job. It just takes him forever because he's so dang slow. So, um, but yeah, it looks nice. It's gonna look really pretty. We're excited about it. Um, he had a tear up. I don't have any shoes on. Let me get some shoes on and I'll walk out there. Okay, so here we're getting like a little bit closer. So they had to dig out obviously all of this patio, all this part, and all the way around it, which let's see what it's going to look like behind it. So they're going to put in all kind of the patio and stuff back here. And then Brian basically is going to pile his wood back here. That way it's close and it won't be back there anymore. So we'll put it all back here, which will look nice. We'll put like a We'll get like a wood rack and put it back here. So that'll be nice. Actually, those pallets would work. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see what he says. But this is the junk that they have left here. And they said they're gonna put our put sod in the spots that are all messed up, which is good because it's a complete mess. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is the fireplace. And we wanted it to be a big enough, a big enough like opening to where we can hang a thing on the inside and a pot. So we can put like a pot and stuff in there. So that's gonna be a very nice big opening. And then it's gonna go to the top and it's gonna fold up on each side, like not fold up, but it's gonna be like go in on each side. So yeah, I think this is gonna look super nice. I'm excited about it. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna put like um, plants or pots on each side, haven't figured that out yet, but we just need to get this patio done. Because again, I have a party on the 25th and I really want to get it done and taken care of. And then something at a turn. Is that a bird? I don't know. Brian said it was a bird. Oh, yeah, it was a bird. <laughs> yeah, something attacked a bird and there's all the feathers. Aw, poor bird. I don't know what that could have been that attacked that bird, but something attacked a bird and there's all the feathers. And there's all the brick for the patio <laughs> that they tore up. But yeah, here's the little update. That's the update on the patio. I don't know if I showed you this part yet either. So like right here, that's open and that's gonna stay open. But see, he enclosed this, which is really nice. And then those two pieces right there are gonna go up there. And then he's gonna put pieces like here in each corner, which is gonna look really, really nice too. But yeah, super nice. We're just ready for it to be done because my patio is driving me crazy. All of this stuff everywhere. It's driving me nuts. Alrighty, so um, he came around 1.20, I think maybe it was, 1.30, maybe even one, and then um, he left. He did a few things, a little bit more brick, 
and then left. But right before he got here, I like took the blower and blew the entire patio off. I moved the furniture like over here. I put these chairs out here and because I was just like, oh my God, I cannot deal with this anymore. This has got to hurry up and get done like quickly because I just cannot deal with the the mess anymore and just the unorganization and I'm just over it. It just got to hurry up. But Brian also came out here and asked him, so basically what he's doing with this brick, this is brick that he's putting on here and then they'll put the stone on it. So he brought his scaffolding out here so he could get up higher and everything. So again, it's looking like it's going straight up when it's not supposed to go straight up. It's supposed to like fold like in. So like right here is supposed to be like this on either side and it's going in and then up. So it's supposed to go in and up. But according to this, it doesn't look like it's doing that at all. So it has me a little concerned. It has me a little worried, but oh well, nonetheless. It is what it is. And I was supposed to have a colonoscopy done on Friday and I canceled that. I'm just gonna reschedule it for like October. And then um, what was the other thing that I had to have done? What was the other thing? I was gonna go in for a colonoscopy and there was something else that I had to go do. And I actually canceled that as well. I don't remember. Anyway, another one. I canceled it and then we rescheduled it for another time. Gosh, I can't remember what that. Oh, my MRI. I was supposed to have my MRI done today. And um, I canceled that and rescheduled it for another day, I think further out, like towards July or something like that. Um, it was just too many things all at one time and like having to take Brian's vehicle in and all that good stuff. I'm still not exactly sure I want to have an MRI done, but I don't know. We shall see when that time comes again. But anyway, nonetheless. So I've em emptied up the suitcases now. I just have to take those suitcases, which are right there. I actually have to take those and put those away. I'll be bringing out the pink one again in about... Um, less than two weeks because two weeks from today we leave like I said earlier So I'll be bringing that back out less than two weeks from now and packing and getting that all All ready for our trip to uh, Disney which we are so excited about we were just talking about it again with Courtney and we're just like super super excited um, But I think Brian's gonna be doing some yard work this evening. We did not go get flowers We'll probably go get flowers um, maybe tomorrow evening after he's done with work and everything um but we will go do all that probably tomorrow and then um he uh like i said is going to do yard work i'm going to leave for my mom's on friday morning for the garage sale because that's what i'll be doing all weekend i've been doing laundry um he's going to be racing this weekend so we have a uh, quite a few things on our plate that we are trying to do and get done but um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and uh, I will catch up with you guys in my next one. Bye. Uh, good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. Uh, today I am headed out to get my nails done. Um, I am really happy about that because <laughs> they're really, they're getting like really bad. Um, where they start to show the bottom of your like finger right there and that is like the worst it's like so ugly and then my nails get too long and i need them cut down if you guys are ever wondering i think i've shared this with you guys before i love this lipstick it's in the color crimson and it's by this company right there ofir and it is it is like my favorite 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 lipstick it's not like real shiny and it's not like super dull. It's just like right in between and I love it. I love the way that it looks. I love the way, ugh, I just, and I love the way that it goes on. It's so nice. Mm, see, so pretty. Um, then after I get my nails done today, I'm going to head to Lowe's to get, um, okay, so I'm sitting on my glasses to get boxes for the stuff that I'm taking to my mom's house for the garage sale this weekend and I'm going to get like um, the sticky like the garage sale sticky stuff so I can start pricing my 
items today and then put them in the box. So that is the plan for today. Um, hold please, I gotta back out of my garage. Alrighty, so I wanted to just quickly um, recommend a good, very, very good show, movie, series, whatever you wanna call it, on Hulu called A Small Light. Very, very good movie based on actual events, based on true story. And I didn't catch on to a reference of the whole show until the very last episode, which we watched last night. And then it hit me and I'm like, oh my gosh. It, it falls into the line of Anne Frank. Like, I didn't realize, they didn't put like the storyline together where Anne Frank is part one of these girls that's in this movie. And then it turns into, obviously, the diary of Anne Frank later on, which is amazing. So you guys have to watch it. Tell me what you guys think. It is such a great movie. Um, and like I said, Brian and I finished our last episode last night. So if you guys want to watch it, it's over on Hulu. And then, right, we just started another um, a series last night on Netflix called Serpent and um, that was recommended uh, by my cousin um, in New York he said that it was a good show so far we're really enjoying the first episode of it so uh, but yeah Serpent on Netflix and then a small light on Hulu and I think that was eight episodes of a small light so yeah, you guys, it's a good like binge watcher. You could watch it like in a weekend. Brian and I watched like a couple of episodes each night up until we left for our trip. And then when we came back, uh, we watched the last two episodes last night. So yeah, highly recommend. Definitely go watch it. Let me know what you guys think about it because it's, it's such a good movie. And I'll see you guys later. They have my stuff ready to go. Every single time I come, nine o'clock is my time and nobody's here and I love it. She's like, go sit in your VIP chair. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I am back home and I ran into Lowe's really quick and picked up some boxes, I picked up some lighters, I picked up some laundry pellets, my little like downy, fabric softener stuff and um, I got my boxes. So I got three boxes. And then while I was there, I was also like, I need to try to find um, the little stickers that you use for garage sales with the pricing stuff on them. And um, I couldn't find any there. And I'm like, oh, well, I'll just go to Walmart after here. I'll just run in there really quick and go grab some. Totally forgot to go to Walmart. <laughs> I like got on the road and headed here and I'm like, oh no, I forgot to get this stuff at Walmart. But I do have I do know, I just gotta find that thing. Um, I do know, I do have some of those little stickers somewhere and I gotta find them, but I know that there just wasn't enough. So um, if I have to like go get some, I will. Um, but I wanted to show you guys too what my nails look like. So I just did like the black tips this time, which look super, super cute. Super cute. Um, then I came home and I made a sandwich and um, had lunch, and because I bought lunch meat the other day, so and I was just like, I like craving, I was craving a sandwich, so I just like making a sandwich from time to time. And then, so the other day when I got home, so which was Tuesday, I was craving my strawberry pretzel salad. So when I went to the grocery store Tuesday, I picked up the stuff to make the strawberry pretzel salad, and I absolutely love, 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 love it. However, the, I made this one, today's Thursday, I made it Tuesday. The pretzels now are soggy and that is my fault. Because if you don't follow the directions carefully, the jello that you pour over the top will run down and seep through everything and that's what gets your pretzels soggy. So I'm gonna have to come up with some type of a solution of some sort to figure out how to keep that from going down and sagging up my pretzels because I've just been eating the top of it. I had, I I cut some of it like, you know, and I was eating those, those pieces, but this other part, you can see where I've started butchering it because I'm like, I'm just eating the strawberries and the Cool Whip because my pretzels are soggy. These pretzels are soggy. 
So I'm also sitting here watching Kyle Palo on YouTube and um, he he's at Epcot right now and they're also staying at Pop Century for this visit. <clears throat> Which makes me very, very excited because we're going to Pop Century in like less than two weeks now. It's less than two weeks. Like two weeks from today, we will be at Magic Kingdom. Woo, woo. So super excited about that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to like touch base with you guys, let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to find those stickers inside of my little, I know I have one somewhere. I'm just gonna find it. I'm gonna put the boxes together and then I'm gonna start sorting the stuff out on the dining room table and then start pricing stuff with the pricing stickies that I have. And then if I have to run to go get more, I will. But right now I'm gonna try to use what I have and then we'll go from there. You know, as I'm sitting here watching the video and I'm sitting here contemplating and thinking about why my pretzels are so soggy. <laughs> Cause it's so aggravating. I don't want my pretzels to be soggy. So here's the thing. So when I made it this time, I sprayed the bottom of my pan and the old, Excuse me, and the only reason why that I did is because the last few times that I have made this, I have had a very difficult time trying to scrape the pretzels off the bottom. <clears throat> However, I'm thinking that not only did the jello seep through and soften the pretzels, I also believe that by me spraying the bottom of my pan with Pam spray <clears throat> also caused my pretzels to get soggy. I don't know. It's a very weird thing. It's the pretzel dilemma and I need to figure it out because I need to perfect this. Because the first time I made this, the pretzels were amazing and you want a crunch you want that like crunchiness because it's got that sugary salty crunch to it and it tasted amazing and it lasted for like three days and there were no saggy pretzels whatsoever <clears throat> so i'm on a mission to figure out how to keep my pretzels from getting soggy that is going to be my mission to figure it out so yeah, I just wanted to share that because it was like driving me crazy about my pretzels. Pretzels are a big problem when they're soggy. Oh, and another thing that I picked up while I was at, um, where was I at? Lowe's. <laughs> I am going to work on this probably next week, but I am so excited because I found some like peel and stick wallpaper. I hope this is, oh, it's removable, good. For some reason I'm like, oh my God, I hope this is peel and stick. Um, <clears throat> not just for walls, apply to flat surfaces such as furniture, stairs, and more. Peel and stick. Um, repositionable and always removable, won't leave sticky residue. Well, on these walls it probably will, but you guys, look at this really pretty pattern. This is such a pretty, I love it. It is so pretty. And I think it's gonna look so perfect over in my butler's pantry. Cause I'm just, I actually just kind of wanted to like, you know, spruce it up in there and just give that back wall some type of like color design print, something, some character of some sorts. But I think this is gonna work and I think it's so pretty. And I'm gonna be working on this probably next week. Um, <clears throat> Brian's gonna be gone. He has to go on a business trip uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I think he'll be back Thursday. I'm not sure he might be back Wednesday night, but I think um, <clears throat> while he's gone, that's what I'm gonna work on. And um, like I said, I'm gonna put it back here along this wall. So um, yeah, I think it's gonna look so pretty. I'm excited about it. Um, <clears throat> And it, oh yeah, there's plenty in there. So I'm excited. I'm gonna give it a try. I hope it works. If not, then I just waste, it was on sale. So it was like $44 for this whole roll. And then it was on sale. Cause I think I got it for like 22, 24, something like that. Anyway, but yeah. Um, and you could put, put drawer liners. Oh, how pretty would that be? Ooh, if I have enough left over, I'll do drawer liners. Yeah, because that would be so pretty. All right, so that's that. So here are the boxes that I got. And I'm going to go ahead and put these together. And then I'm going to start putting my stuff together from our photograph. <laughs>
unfortunately the labels that i found are only like um 50 cents and 10 centers 25 cents three dollars ten dollars and then make offers those are all of the little sticky tags that i have that's oh that one says two dollars 75 cents so yeah i could probably use let's see i could probably use the threes i can't use the 10 centers let's see no 10 centers um that's a ten dollar one i don't have ten dollar let's see there's a three dollar 75 okay um three dollars let me see if i can like organize these a little bit better and then i can decide what i want to use so i have a question though for you guys and i know this is probably going to be like it's going to be too late for me to like look at the answers that you guys are giving me because i'm going to already kind of do this um but how do you guys price your stuff for garage sales if you ever had a garage sale how do you price your stuff for garage sales so like for example i have like these women's shorts over here gray shorts women's shorts these shorts over here women's shorts gray these are um lee they're probably from walmart i probably paid between 10 and 15 dollars for them how much would you guys put on these like two bucks a dollar what do you guys do for stuff like this shorts and then when you come across like a dress how do you guys how do you guys price dresses like a little dress what would this be three dollars two dollars I'm always just curious because I don't want to have it be too much and then say like my sister puts a dollar on one of her dresses and I have three dollars on mine like and obviously there's always room for negotiations as well at a garage sale because it's a garage sale and I'm trying to get rid of stuff but I also don't want to like you know 50 cents it I don't know what do you guys think I don't know leave me a comment below let me let me know what you guys think about pricing and how you guys do your pricing I'm always just curious to know um I think in the past we've probably done like like dresses for a dollar i'm going to text my sister and my nieces i'm going to find out what they like price their dresses and stuff at but i do have some ray dunn stuff that i want to put out there um so yeah i'm gonna have to run to the store and get some more stickers because that's not going to be enough no yeah bummer <laughs> Alrighty, so my niece said $3 for the dresses, and I think that's pretty reasonable. So we're going to use what I have here for the $3. I don't think I have very many, but we're going to use what I have, and we're going to start putting the prices on these dresses and with my little initial on them for me. So I know that I'm making money off of my stuff. So let's get to labeling. So I went to Walmart and I picked up some more of the little pricing labels and I got the yellow ones this time. So now I'm basically just putting the price on there myself and putting my initial on there with a price. So that's what I'm doing now. And I have um, the rest of this stuff to go and then I'm going to put it in this box and then this box will be done and then I'll open up another box and start from there.
have these three bags and I have all of that stuff right down there at the end of the butler's pantry that I am taking to my mom's house for the garage sale. Everything has been tagged and priced except for these three bags. I just did not want to open those bags up and do that tomorrow once I get to my mom's house. Right now, I am in the process of watching Jeopardy and making dinner. Um, I'm doing some Brussels sprouts right now, and I have those all in the pan, salt and peppered, ready to go. I'm getting ready to take the steaks out and kind of do those up, and then I have some potatoes in the oven. And then after we're done eating, um, Brian and I are gonna run to Lowe's and get some flowers, but I wanted to go ahead and end the vlog now. Um, that way, hopefully, maybe, I can get this one up and edited and you guys can have it on Friday morning. So crossing my fingers, hoping I can. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the past couple of days. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you guys are happy that I'm back home and I'm back on schedule with regularly scheduled vlogs, weekly, daily, not daily every other day, every few days, whatever. Thank you guys so much for giving me the time to like chill and relax and get myself back into a routine after I got home. I will see you guys in my next one. Garage sale all weekend, so I'll probably see you guys next week sometime. Bye.